Hi everyone, this is a pick a card charm reading for Are We Meant To Be Together? So we have group one, group two, and group three. So whichever group you feel most drawn to, it is gonna be the reading for you. I mean, what a question. Are we meant to be together? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it seems like a really like intense question, but that is what we are reading today. I hope you are doing well. And uh, also if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. And they the readings are done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy if you are interested in purchasing any of those. So these are handmade, they're meditated with, they're sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. And uh, yeah, that uh, that's pretty much that. Free international shipping. Uh, and the other thing was, if you want to check out the reviews and see how other people have seen results with these bracelets, please do head over to my Etsy shop. Link will be in the description box below. The review section is on there as well. There's so many different bracelets for different areas of your life. There's also intention cards, which are hand embroidered, which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet or your purse. Um, so those are all handmade by me. They're sent out by me as well. And thank you so much for all of the love and support. Uh, you know, they are very magical and very, very special indeed. And the other thing as well was the... Patreon. Thank you so much to all my Patreons. Um, it means the world to me and uh, just, you know, having a little community on there is just a lot of fun as well. At the same time, if you'd like to sign up um, or become a Patreon, information will be in the description box below as well. And you can also get exclusive content uh, on there as well that I don't post anywhere else. So that's pretty exciting. So we have group one, two, three. Timestamps are in the description box below. So you can go to the description box, click on the timestamp, it will take you to the reading, which is quite exciting. All right, so let's get started, right? Let's get started. And I am first of all going to read group number one. So I'm just going to move some of these other decks that I have onto the side. And let's move these right here. Okay, group number one. Are we meant to be together? Are we meant to be together? So let's have a look and see, are you meant to be together? It's a pretty, it's a pretty solid question, not even gonna lie. So let's have a look and see. I'm gonna read the charm once I've pulled all of the cards. So we've got the key there and we've also got these beautiful tarot cards, 12 card spread, Queen of Swords, Judgment, okay. A decision has to be made on this, that's for sure. Um, it's something that I'm seeing. So there's a a decision, a choice. Uh, the thing is, with the Queen of, when you've got the Queen of Swords and you've got Judgment, both of these cards are about decisions, right? Which I'm not even surprised about because that's literally what the question is about. Are we meant to be together? Is is this going to lead to togetherness? So the fact you've got these two decision cards, automatically it is connecting, you know, it's like the lock and the key. There we go, right? There we go. You've got the key right there. It's like, it's that energy. And I feel like a decision will be made, right? Because the Queen of Swords is all about decisiveness, 
I'm so sorry, my voice is a little croaky today, um, but you know, just bear with me, bear with me. Uh, but this, oh, the judgment card also is about transformations, right? Because it's ruled by Pluto. And I think that that is music, in many ways, it's like music to your ears. You know, the Queen of Swords energy is all about this strength and confidence. It's about clarity in a situation. It's very concise energy. The fact that we have that in the, the cards is just huge because I really do feel that there is an energy here about a decision being made where you are chosen and a decision that actually gives you power in the end because you will be saying yes or no. So the ball is in your court, believe it or not. And I just think that's such a strong way to start any reading, to realise that actually in this situation and in this scenario, you are in power. Even if you don't feel it right now, trust me when I say you will feel the power going forward. It's almost like the key is in your hands, right? So, ah, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm just, it's like a, it's awakening. It's an awakening in the middle of this reading where I'm like, wow. You might be thinking, are we meant to be together? Are we going to be together? Are we going to be able to do X, Y, and Z together? And here you are thinking all of these things when actually the ball is in your court. You hold the key because what's going to happen is, yes, decision will be made, but you are ultimately going to be the one to say yes or no. Because I think that in this situation, the other person is going to ask you the question like, Hey, do you want to be together? Hey, what do you see in the future? Hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, hey, what do you think now? You know, so you're going to be the one that has the power in the situation to make the judgment, to make, well, you're going to be the one that has power to make the choice. There we go, right? The decision will be made and a question will be asked to you. And the Queen of Swords, right? It's all about dealing with situations. It's about also communication, but it's also about having boundaries. So don't forget that. Have boundaries. Be you. Be unapologetically you. That's what I would say. Just be you in the situation. Be you. Trust. And that's the best thing you could ever potentially do. Okay, so... What we're seeing there. Wow. Okay. Chariot. See? You have more power than you think. You have more power than you think. These cards are super unique. I think they're called something something soul cards. I'll leave them in the description bo box below just in case anyone is wondering, you know, what these cards are. Um, yeah, check out the description box. I'll leave them in there um, near the timestamps. So we've also got Hanged Man. My King of Swords. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is such... Oh my gosh. Four of Wands. It's a divine and destined sort of reading. Yes, the two of you are meant to be together. Oh my gosh, look at that. You've got the hanged man. The hanged man, which is all about spirituality. It's a Neptune energy. It's, uh, it, oh, it's, it's a big energy because it really does showcase, again, that things have to be thought about. Um, a decision will also be made and then you will make a choice. Right, so again, it's it's showing that a lot more thinking still has to be done in regards to this particular situation, and we're, we're seeing a lot of that thinking being done, so I definitely see if there are obstacles and challenges, or if you feel like things are taking too much time, I definitely feel like it's happening for a reason, it's definitely going to teach the other person, like, okay, I understand this, 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 and it just strengthens their vision and mind towards this connection, so then... They don't then in the future run away from it or do a U-turn. 
sometimes when things move very, very quickly, not all the time, but sometimes when things move very, very quickly, people are mo more prolonged to do a U-turn and to sort of run away because they just, you know, move so fast with the situation, they don't get enough time to think about it. So something I am seeing is a lot of thinking, a lot of pondering, a lot of reflecting with this hangman energy, which actually is very, very good towards this connection and very good in general, because it really shows the third eye being activated. It shows a deep level of understanding where the person's actually thinking so much about this connection and how it could be and what could happen and they're thinking in depth to the point where they are prepared for it, all right? So when you have to make the choice, whether you say yes or no, you accept or you reject, just know that the person has thought so much about it. And when I say the person, the other person in the situation which in which you're wondering, are we meant to be together? right? So that's what I'm seeing is that it's definitely going to be thought about, it's not going to be rushed and I think that's also very, very, I just think it's it's huge, huge, absolutely huge that uh, we do have these cards that have aligned in this way. Also we've got Chariot which shows destiny, it shows being together, it shows also the future and it also shows yin and yang which is a big part of the chariot card. So in you know other decks we have the two sphinx which represent yin and yang so that's why I mentioned yin and yang. Whenever I see the chariot card come up doesn't matter what deck it is, deck it is I always think of yin and yang. I always think about their spiritual energies and I always think about that energy of mutual harmony balance and flow, which I think is very important. And so I see that here as well. And I also see sort of these wings. This looks like wings to me, which shows the connection taking off, soaring, flying through the sky and exploring, doing fun things together and actually getting to know each other more and more, even once time goes by. So yes, there is an energy definitely of, you know, having meant to be together because Neptune being such a spiritual energy just shows that it's it's almost like destiny and fate has brought the two of you together and I do see an energy of you working out things, resolving things and actually just enjoying this time together, you know, in the future. So that's what I'm seeing here. We've also got the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords here showcases counterparts, right? Um, because we've got the King and the Queen of Swords. That just goes to show you again, unapologetically be you, do you. Don't be afraid of who you are. You know, if you feel like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't do this because I might scare the person away, or oh no, I shouldn't do this because what if they think this, this and this, but it's if it's such a deep-rooted part of you and it's a fundamental part of you, you definitely shouldn't change yourself in any way, shape or form. Sometimes, yes, we do have to walk on eggshells, but definitely don't make it a regular occurrence because you should be you, you should do you, you should hold your head up very high and, and not worry about what the other person is constantly going to do or think or act because we just have to be really true to ourselves. So what I would say is try not to panic too much about if you should do this and that and this and that, just try and be as authentic as you can um, to you around when you're, you know, around this person or communicating with this person or, you know, maybe trying to get this person's attention. Like, all you have to do is just be you. I think that's the best thing to do because we want people to like us for who we are and we don't, we shouldn't be like, you know, doing that. So I know, I know that because I can see some of you in your vision, you know, excessively doing a lot of things that you may not necessarily always do. And I think that if there's something you need to realize about this, it's that it's just about being yourself. And I think that's the, the most beautiful thing as human beings we could do is just be us and be valued for who we are. So just know that and know that when you are you and they are them, things can go from strength to strength. Now, one thing I will say is that there appears to be a spiritual connection here between you and this other person. And what I would say is that because there's a spiritual connection, I can totally understand why I've just said what I said, which is about unapologetically being yourself. What needs to happen as well, if you're constantly thinking about this person, or maybe you can't sleep at night because they're always in your vision, always on your mind, is that there needs to be an energy change and an energy shift. And what I mean specifically by that is 
there needs to get to a point there needs to be a point where you are focusing much more on your energy than you are on their energy especially for those of you that are not in contact with this person that have a really difficult situation with this person or you're finding it very hard to work out the person it's better to let them come to you it is better to give them as much as they give you at the same time do it according to your situation, but what I do see is it's better for you to really put energy, time and focus first and foremost in yourself. Put it in yourself first and then, you know, let the situation sort of flow. Try not to be too attached to the situation, especially if you do have a situation forming with this person and it's difficult. What I would recommend is be the queen of swords, have those boundaries, do you, put this energy into yourself and you will see the situation transform as well because when we give ourselves more energy than another person, what can happen is that spiritual energy that we're constantly giving to somebody else, they can prolong the situation because they're just feeding off that spiritual energy. On the other flip side, when we give ourselves that energy, it makes them go, whoa, where did all that spiritual energy that I was receiving go? Where's it gone? I can't feel that energy. And you know what happens? They come back around to you. It leads back around to you. And, and that's what I'm seeing here is that all you have to do is put this energy into yourself and really just focus in on you. Give, I mean, give them as much as they're giving you or more so let them come to you more and communicate with you more and show you and tell you more because I think that's very, very important. So if you are asking like, how do I go about this now? That's the best way to go about it. Do I see that the two of you are meant to be together? Absolutely, because the Four of Wands also shows a strong spiritual connection. Now, this can actually be a twin flame or a soulmate connection or some form of past life connection, because I feel like there's a spiritual link here. And also the Fours in Tarot are about foundations. It's about uh, stability, building from the ground up. It is also about, yeah, I guess, building something and making something last. So. Yes, the answer to your question again is a very strong yes. I mean, wow, right? Wow. these cards want to come out today that would be amazing okay yeah we've got here the three of pentacles you just oh we've got two cards so we've got the three of pentacles and we've also got the four of pentacles there we go let's put them on both sides here so three of pentacles again relates to yin and yang right three of pentacles is teamwork harmony balance it's uh, also mutual harmony and mutual balance as well. So the Three of Pentacles is this element of making things work, right? Teamwork, collaboration, which is a fundamental part of any connection. So the, when the question is, are we meant to be together? And you've got the Three and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is about having something and holding on to it. And as I mentioned, you know, sometimes it's better for us to detach away from the situation and to just let the universe do its thing and to flow with it. But this here showcases the three to the four. So the three here shows making things work, okay, and things actually working out and then following that whole working out energy. It's about then having the person. Okay, so yes, I do see that the two of you are very much so meant to be together in that sense and it will come together in time that's the big thing here is it will really come together eventually with time because the four of pentacles here also showcases a strong energy about yep things taking time but eventually togetherness right the key showing that symbolic commitment it's showing the key to something greater unlocking things Wow, 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 group number one. Remember, you are number one. Always remember that.
thinking of number one, we've got the first card in tarot, even though it is zero, like, yeah, it is zero, the card is zero, but it's still the first card in tarot, <laughs> it's the full card, right, so this is so, so important, I keep saying right, maybe because the reading is right, yeah, uh, okay, so full here really showcases a uh, strong Uranus energy, of course, because the planet of Uranus rules this card. It's also about something quite spontaneous, so I do feel like when they'll tell you and ask you this question, and it stems from this point, so that's what I'm really seeing, is that yes, the two of you are meant to be together, and it stems from a point where you will be asked something and then you'll make a decision based on it and I feel like yes that can happen in time but I also feel the way in which they they ask like hey do you want to be together or do you want to take this further or you know I am sorry that things ended up working this way but now I feel ready but now I really want to make things work they may do this in quite a spontaneous way when they actually ask you so that's what I'm seeing with the full because the full energy is quite spontaneous even though things can take time even though it can feel like things have been maybe all over the place the full energy still shows a spontaneous way of asking something so that's what I'm seeing here okay and we've got so many major arcanas let's just talk about that for a second we've got major arcanas the big energies they are solid energies and then you've got counterparts, you've got progression cards, so minor arcana is going from one to another. Whoa, you know? Also, the other thing is, I keep seeing a lot of eyes in this reading. When I say a lot, I guess it's just mainly these two cards here, but I, I feel like I was just seeing it even in the other cards. Now that I look at the other cards, I don't, I don't see the eyes, but for some reason, I, I keep seeing eyes, so it's almost like they've got their eyes on you. Even if you feel like, ugh, oh, Moonlight, but our situation is a little bit difficult, I still feel they have your eye they have their eyes on you. Got the seven of wands. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a bit more of a complicated situation. Seven of Wands shows challenges, obstacles, and struggles, but it also shows an energy which is getting through that, you know, getting through that and also you not giving up and the other person not giving up in parallel. Six of Swords. Mmm, yeah, okay, cool. Sorry, well, <laughs> I mean, I know that, that just sounds like, okay, cool. But it makes sense to me, which is why I said that, you know, like, okay, cool, that makes sense in the context of this reading. Six of Swords is all about emotionally getting yourself to a better place. So the reason I said, okay, cool, is because I can see that in the cards. I did mention that some of you may be having a, a situation with this person. It just may be difficult. It may be confusing, which is why you might be here to get some clarity. And the Six of Swords is so important because it shows that movement, it shows that this connection and this reading with the chariot as well shows progression, it shows movement in a better direction and it shows that this person here, I feel that two of you are meant to be together but remember things are going to be thought of more and this person's also going to awaken and get themselves to an emotionally better place. But it's also important for us to mention that they're not going to give up, which I think is also such a, a huge thing. Huge thing. This uh, I'm not going to give up kind of energy, which of course is vital and in many ways very important. But it is something I'm seeing, right? They're not going to give up. So... They're going to try and do everything they can to get themselves to an emotionally better place. Okay, that's our last card. So let's have a look. The world. Wow. What a way to end this reading, because the world is ruled by Saturn. 
Saturn is about structure, organization, and routine. What do people build together? They build routines, right? Couples. They build a routine. They include each other in their routine. And when you ask the question of, are we meant to be together? Building a routine together is such a strong indication of two people coming together and being together for the long term, which is absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. So for those of you that were maybe still wondering, um, I'm not too sure about all of this. Well, I can tell you that the last card here has definitely reflected that. See, we started with judgment, right? Which is about a decision, but also the ball being in your court and also the key being in your hand. And then we end with the world card, which is about routine. It's about things coming together. It is about the structure of this connection and the two of you eventually coming together. So that's what we have right here. So yes, group number one, I do feel that you are meant to be together, but unapologetically be yourself and also shift more of that energy onto yourself if you can. I think that's one of the best things that you can do. And this is what I have for you. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section below. Obviously, you know, it may take time for it, for it to resonate, but, um, you know, let me know what you thought about this reading and also don't get to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and definitely do check out the description box below for all the information, you know, that I mentioned as well. If you'd like to win a free reading or, you know, private readings, bracelets, any of that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I hope you definitely take care and I'm now going to read the second group. Okay, so I'm just going to... Take away these cards. Put this here. All right, so group number two, we are going to have a look and see what's coming for you. In this reading, question is, are we meant to be together? So this is the Mystic Mondays deck. For those of you that are wondering, it is, it's pretty special. And we're going to see, I'm going to do a 12 card spread for your reading. We also have the charm, which is the shoe, which I'm going to read in correlation or correspondence. Is that the right word? In relation to the reading. Let's just say that. All right. So it's really, it's really beautiful. It's, I mean, it's definitely got a lot of detail to it as well. And I feel like it's it's very subtle. Um, you know, it's a gold engraved shoe. It definitely is not just any old gold shoe. So I think that there is um, also in regards to this connection that we're reading on and, you know, the whole situation of are we meant to be together, it really just does showcase that there's more to it than it seems, which is how I also picked up in regards to that shoe. Like there's so much more detail on that shoe and, and it's it's really quite special, isn't it? So that's what I'm seeing to begin with. Now let's do this reading and see what comes through. There's more to it than, it's, than there seems. It's definitely something that's coming through in my mind. Okay, so a card just fell on the floor. I will just grab that in a little bit. Let's start to lay this spread out so far. So we have the Chariot, we also have the Ace of Cups, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Princess of Swords with the Knight of Swords. I'm actually going to put those together, those two sword cards, and I'm just going to grab the card off of the floor. Okay, Knight of Wands, let's just, <laughs> it's like a little rocking shoe. I'm just going to put that right there. Hmm. Interesting. I love these cards. They're super fun, super colourful. They're just very, very unique. I, I do want to say yes. I already want to say yes to this, uh, this question. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, bye, everyone. <laughs> 
No, but, but really, I, I see a yes to this. I mean, you've got the chariot, which also, again, shows that there's more to this connection than you may, you may realise. I don't know, some of you might be confused. You might be coming here and thinking, you know, is there actually something that could work between us? Like, are we meant to really be together? And maybe you are doubting it in your mind. Maybe, and not all of you, but some of you might be doubting it. And what I would say is that there's more to still come. So it's not like it's completely done or it's completely over or anything like that. There's still more to be explored. That's also something I'm seeing, especially because the chariot shows um, more to be seen by the two of you. Perhaps this is going on future travels. It could be uh, future trips. There's, there's more to be seen by the two of you, more to explore in the future as well. So there's more to come. And also the Ace of Cups here shows love. Uh, it shows a full cup. It shows a journey. It shows commitment. Oh my God, oh my God. Look, I mean, it's, it's also a charm reading and the fact that the shoe is just hanging out there whilst I'm talking about more to come, like travel, you know, this is about more steps. It's about, um, again, putting on those shoes and, and exploring and finding new things that the two of you love and connecting on, on such a strong level. I mean, shoes, right? Shoes. I do also feel that, you know, you have some strong expectations, really strong expectations, and you are expecting those sho shoes to be filled, which I think is a is a good expectation to have. Um, so there's more to come for sure, but also I do feel that there's an energy where the two of you are meant to be together. There is this sort of flowing energy where I, I really feel, especially with the, the six of the Six of Pentacles that we see, it does show that things can become quite balanced, that things can come together, that things can work out, but also in time, right? In time. So I think that the two of you are first and foremost going to communicate a lot more, right? To really get that communication on point. And then what happens is the understanding element. So you've got the Knight and the Princess of Swords. So the Knight of Swords here shows and the Princess of Swords shows communication, which is flowing, it's mutual, it's growing, and it just favours both of you in that sense, where you understand each other. Because communication is such a fundamental part of any connection, and some people can have a hard time communicating. But this shows that it will become balanced, it will become mutual to the point where you're not scrambling around for communication or you're not wondering what the heck is going on here, you know, and it's expressed to one another. So that's what the Six of Pentacles shows. It shows that level of balance. It shows things coming together. It shows progression and stability to that level, which makes you think, okay, I know where I stand now. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. <laughs> no one wants to hear me sing. I know. It's, <laughs> it's just what it is. Um, Knight of Wands. Action being taken. Right? So, whew, the sun is shining now here as well. And I just think, thank you. Thank you, sun, for shining. Thank you, sunshine, for being part of this reading. I do have my light on, but at the same time, the sun is... The sun is happening, it's early morning. The Knight of Wands here shows an energy of this person pursuing you, okay? Wanting to take things further, but first and foremost, communication will happen, it will get stronger, it will get better, it's something that I am for sure seeing. Also, um, it shows movement and direction, and it definitely shows passion and you being pursued as well. So that's what the Knight of Wands here is showing. Did I say King? I meant Knight. Um, at any point, if I did say King, I did mean Knight. Um, but that's what we're seeing here. Nine of Wands. Oh, things are being thought about. They are being thought about as we speak. So 
Now, if you're wondering if this person even thinks about you or likes you or cares about you, they're definitely thinking about you, which is a very strong sign. When you've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about reflecting and reflecting upon growth and a situation and thinking about what's happened, how things can happen. Trust me when I say, I feel like they're holding a watering can. They're willing to water the plant of, of what's growing between the two of you. So that's a really strong sign. And the Nine of Wands here definitely shows them wondering, thinking, pondering, but also this card shows progress and potential. So if anything, you can see how them thinking about you and uh, reflecting upon you shows growth here. And also that Knight of Wands shows a very pursuing energy. It shows passion and attraction, which is also, you know, a part of the connection. So I think that this really showcases to us a base that leads to something more. I feel like there is divine destiny and fate in this reading present. There you go, the divine. We've got here the Queen of Cups. So special, so, so, so special because Queen of Cups is a very spiritual energy. Again, you know, I said the divine and I truly mean that. The Queen of Cups is also um, about emotions and it's about how the spiritual element connects to the emotions. It's almost like the moon, right? The moon can also have a big, big impact on our emotions and how we feel. And I feel like when we've got divine destiny and fate at play here, when you ask a question of are we meant to be together, it's almost like it's fated. It's meant to be. And that queen, you know, the, the divine here, the queen of cups is holding that cup, which is present in the ace of cups. So it's like it's going to get offered. Um, but, you know, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, so I just want you guys to know that it's a genderless reading, regardless of if you're male or female. Okay, so I thought I would just mention that. The world card. Yeah. It's about becoming part of each other's life, or lives, should I say. Okay, a card flew out. Um, so we've got a bonus card here. I'm just going to put the deck on the side. Wow. The last cards we've got in this reading have really packed a punch for sure. Four of Swords. Trust me when I say they are thinking about you. Well, you know, when this person's really in their own energy, I feel like all they do is think about you, believe it or not, okay, so when I see are we meant to be together, whether you're already sort of kind of with this person or you're not with this person, but you're wondering, you know, you know, are we going to really be together, are we meant to be together, that's an even bigger question to ask because then destiny, fate and really, you know, that element of things uh, totally comes into play, sorry, I have such an itchy nose, I wonder what that you know, I've always wondered what that really does mean. Okay, so the Four of Swords here definitely showcases them whenever they're resting or they're in their own energy, they think about you, they reflect upon you. And I really see that as a strong foundation and a base for, you know, the fact that this person just can't forget about you. They just can't move on with their life, even, even if they tried. So that's what I'm seeing here. A big, solid foundation has very much so been... Uh, put into place, you know, put into place, and that's what I'm seeing here. Now, we've also got the sun, and the sun here shows, again, a very, very strong element of the fate. It also shows warmth and positivity. It shows opportunity, taking things further. It shows a journey, right, the journey of a connection as well, and it also shows growth, growth in a connection, things blooming, growing, manifesting, right? So that's what I'm seeing. I do feel that the two of you are meant to be together. There can be, you know, a patch here where maybe things are just a little bit stagnant, but I also see that stagnant energy being overcome. Communication getting stronger, you being pursued, exploring, traveling, taking those steps, you know, I feel like this is a step-by-step -step connection, which is why we also have this shoe, I feel, it's step-by-step, -step, but also putting on those shoes and exploring and doing fun things, I also feel like this person can fill those shoes and those expectations and those needs that you also have.
the world is ruled by Saturn. It's such a strong energy which shows routine and structure. Saturn is also about efficiency. It's also, sorry, self-efficiency, should I say. So it's about taking care of your needs, but also your needs being met in the long term. And it's also about creating this beautiful sort of life together, again, that routine together, which I think is really beautiful as well. So that's something that we're definitely seeing with the world card, things coming together, um, a sense of completion, which is the two of you being together with destiny, divine fate, you know, it's, it's fated. Um, and also something in regards to a Saturday is definitely coming through. So it may be on a Saturday that you get, you know, that, that real strong sign from this person, or maybe it's commitment from this person, or some kind of step. They also say that when two people go traveling together, they understand each other the most. You know, that's when you really understand if you can get along with someone. So they might ask you like, hey, do you want to do this? Or when the time is right, and sometime in the future when the time is right, do you want to do this, this, and this? Because as I'm filming this video right now, there is, you know, oh, there's a whole health situation in the world right now, um, which, you know, is, is restricting a lot of people to travel right now. But that's why I'm also seeing in the future, they might say, OK, well, but when the time is right, maybe we could do this, this and this. So, you know, I definitely wouldn't put it off um, for the future, you know, because that's what I'm seeing. Um, and something about a Saturday, it could be that they actually offer commitment on a Saturday as well. We have got the Empress, which shows a really beautiful family energy. It's also an energy tied to Venus, which shows love and long term love because it also shows, again, family. Now, not everybody wants, you know, to have a family or to have children and kids, but whatever your element of being together in a connection is and love and long term and, you know, relationship is you know that is what I see on, on the cards for you so whatever your version of the empress is you know whether that's quite literally being an empress and having a beautiful family then that would be you know your version of the family if it is just you know being in a connection with someone but not necessarily the whole you know children part of you know wanting to sort of have all of that involvement then that's what the empress means for you because everyone's very different when it comes to um the long term. Some people want marriage and family and some people don't. Some people just want marriage, family. Some people just want to live together, right? Because everyone's so, so different um, in regards to what they want. And that's what I'm seeing. There's going to be some people that want the whole shebang. There are other people that will just want to sort of maybe live in together. And there are other people that will want marriage and kids, but there are some people that won't want kids, if you know what I mean. So, you know, that's just what I'm seeing here. But I definitely see this really beautiful energy of connection, being together and the long term element of things, which is why I'm also seeing here Yes, I do feel that the two of you are meant to be together. So this is your reading, group number two. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below, as I mentioned. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about this reading in the comment section. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And definitely do take care of yourself as well. And now I'm going to move on to group number three. So I'm just going to take away the shoe. Not that I'm shooing away the shoe or anything. Okay, take these cards. Whoa, I'm so sorry about that. I'm trying to see if it will actually stand up because the thing is, it actually works. The, the timer works. All right, so group number three. This is your reading. Ta-da. Well, I actually need to do it like that. So this is your reading. And the thing about this timer is it doesn't quite stand up properly. So I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to knock it over because I literally just did as well before you clicked on the timestamp. I knocked it over. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it like put it like this because um, I kind of already showed you it when it was upright. So I hope you don't mind too much. I just don't want to keep knocking it over. That's the only thing. Um, I might actually stand it up once we've got all the cards out. So. Let's have a look and see 
are we meant to be together? That's a big question that we have. This deck is called Groovy Weight for those of you wondering and pondering. It's a very fun, very special deck. So let's get started. 12 cards. Are we meant to be together? Yeah, I think I'll stand up. The charm once I've got all the cards out. So a card did fall into my drawer here. Uh, here it is. Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Whoa! Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am speechless. Mm-hmm. I know you can see what I see. Okay, I'll go through the cards in just a bit. Let's let's get these all out. I am excited. I'm excited. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. That was that was surprisingly quick. Um, you know, just how we got these cards out. So we've got here. Let's just let's start with the back row of me showing you what the cards are just because they're further away if I show you them then you can see them a little bit better before I place them down so we've got the strength card two of pentacles the fool emperor ace of wands page of wands queen of swords Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, and The Lovers. Those are your cards. I just feel like this is, you know, such a strong energy, which showcases a divine and spiritual connection that is just meant to be it's meant to be there's there's no other way to put it and some of you might have chosen you know the timer for a specific reason and you know I, I really feel that there's a lot of people that would have avoided this group because they would have thought to themselves oh my god that probably just means more time if you took the chance and you picked this reading it's it's not always what it means right this actually shows that yes, you know, the two of you are meant to be together. It's only a little matter of time. It's only a matter of time, right? Once that little um, timer runs out, it shows that things come together. It's a, it's a matter of time. That's, that's just what it, it, that's what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, it's gonna take more time or oh, they need more time. I mean, yes, it kind of does, but it, it doesn't, necessarily mean it in that context it's a little bit like okay the, the glass is half full is the glass half full or is it half empty you know what I see here is that for some of you it's time and for some of you it's just a tiny matter of time you know I don't see it as as the reading being like okay this person needs so much extra time this person needs to do this and this person needs to do that like I actually do feel in many ways that this person is ready um, they just need to express it to you they just need to either come forward and express it but they are for the most part this person's ready they they're not running or actively running um, they could be but again what I'm specifically trying to say is that for the most part they're ready and I do feel that they will come forward so, so that's what I mean, because you might be in a situation with someone where you might think, but Moonlight, they are running. Well, you know, they could be running, but what I'm seeing is that internally, they are much more ready. That's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, it's just what I'm seeing here. I mean, the Three of Pentacles definitely shows teamwork and collaboration. They feel ready enough to make things work with you, okay? But they just need a tiny amount of time to be able to express it to you, to really come forward and put forward a valid 
situation. Okay, so I do see that the two of you are meant to be together in that in that way. The Eight of Wands shows movement, it shows direction, it shows progression, and it also shows with the Four of Wands as well, this beautiful divine destined and fated connection. So internally, I feel like they are pretty much ready. They may not show it necessarily through their actions because, look, the Emperor shows everything through actions, but they're not the most emotional person. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, they need to come forward with their readiness and the fact that they will say, like, okay, hey, you know, how do you feel about being together forever? Um, how do you feel about things going forward? So I definitely feel like they need to communicate this to you. So yes, they are ready. They just need to communicate it. That's what I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Fool, which is them coming forward, right? So I know that this probably sounds like the most complicated thing ever, but I just want to assure you that it's not complicated. The answer to your question is yes, that the two of you will be together, are meant to be together, but... It is also showing so many other messages as well, which naturally I want to get out to you. So it's only a little matter of time, a little matter of time. I don't see this person buying more and more time. It's just a small matter of time before this person just opens up to you and really shows you that this is the direction that they want to go in, especially with the fool. You know, it's this fun energy, an exciting energy, um, a beautiful prospect where it's like, hey, I'm ready. Are you? Do you want to take this leap of faith? So they will show you and they will tell you. That's what I'm seeing with the emperor as well. They will take action towards this. Okay, so if you find you're in a situation with someone where they're not really telling you or showing you or being the most open and honest with you, trust me, they will. They just have to communicate it to you in a much, much better way. And also the Wheel of Fortune here really showcases abundance, you know, an energy of being together in the long term because it's ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is such an abundant energy. It's an energy of being together forever and it's just this strong energy of we will get through it. We will get through anything. We can get through obstacles, challenges, storms. Yes. You know, wheel turns, abundance comes. The lovers is also so special because that also shows um, sharing memories, making memories, sharing time, making time, you know, for one another. So I definitely do see that here. There's an element of music, you know, with a record. It could have some meaning into your connection if there's a link to some sort of music or maybe the two of you have done something in the past that revolves music involves music should I say or revolves around music it is something I'm seeing and also the lovers here shows a spiritual connection um, it shows the angel there and the divine it's just beautiful right it shows that there's more to come in this connection that there's more growth that will happen in the connection and as I mentioned you know I do feel deep down that this person is ready they just have to communicate it to you and that will happen in just a small matter of time that's what I'm seeing so it's not like they're trying to buy time or they're not ready I do feel that this person is ready to take things to the next level they just need to communicate it across to you which is what I see with the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles shows teamwork collaboration making things work the eight of wands shows movement and progression in a solid direction so that you know where you stand right so it's just about things flowing and growing and yes I do see that the two of you are meant to be together the queen of swords is about unapologetically being yourself it's about having boundaries it's about sticking sticking to you you know so I think that it's just very very important um the queen of swords to to also realize that you know what if you have a vision for what you want don't run away from that vision um or don't think that your vision isn't good enough because it definitely is good enough and you definitely have a lot going for you that is something that I I do want to mention you have a lot going for you you know so you know the page of wands is beautiful because the page of wands is it's about communication it's about passion it's about attraction so I definitely do see here also with the four of wands as well which also shows that sort of strong 
passionate energy with the, the Ace of Wands, that things are going to get stronger in this connection. And also, there's a foundation here that's being built, which also proves to the long-term element of the connection where things can, you know, get stronger and they can get better. And um, it's about being together. We've also got a house there. We've got a couple. Again, a couple with the lover's card. So it really does showcase... Yes, you are meant to be together. I don't know how many times I could say it in one reading, but there is love present, there is attraction present, there is an element of things coming together which is present, and also the strength card here shows things getting stronger, things getting, um, you know, better and better, and action being, well, things being shown, right? So actions actually being put on the table, if that makes any sense, and you knowing where it's going, how it's going, and all that kind of energy. So such a strong, strong place to be in a reading, but it's what I'm seeing. The Two of Pentacles here also showcases a very, very strong aspect of things balancing out and things coming together and things really just, you know, with time coming together, but also with time, things lasting. The two of you actually being together. You're meant to be together you know, um, it shows things going in the right direction, and this card here, I mean, 11-11, you might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities, and what this really does showcase is that the two of you are meant to be together, the path that you're on right now in your life, it definitely does showcase that, how many times have I said showcase in this reading? It does definitely show that when you see those repeating numbers, it's your angels and your guides that are speaking to you that are trying to give you these very strong messages because you might be thinking, are we really meant to be together? Are things really going to work out? Is it really going to stretch the distance and go long term? And when you see these repeating numbers, it's the angels and the guides reassuring you, telling you that yes, you know, there is something strong here, that things will be okay, that things will work out. It's a matter of time. It's a small matter of time before, between that happening and this person really expressing their, their feelings um, being expressed and opened up to you. So that's really what I'm seeing as well as a very, very strong element and energy of things that come together. It's, it's just a matter of time before there is progression, before there's movement, before all of these things are aligning, you know, the stars are aligning, the planets are aligning and coming together. So you know, I know that the beginning portion of this reading might have been a bit confusing where I was like, you know, we do have that timer, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're, you know, taking their time and buying their time, but it just means there's a, there's a little bit of time before they come forward. That's because they are ready. This person is ready. And I do feel that the two of you are meant to be together in that type of, in that type of situation and that way for the long-term element where there is abundance and the two of you can build on a solid connection and be together in this harmonious, connection because we have got the infinity symbol and the infinity symbol is all about the long-term prospect. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, I hope I didn't confuse you too much but the answer is yes and I'm truly speechless at the kind of cards we have. We have got the strength card which definitely shows things getting stronger. We've got the, the two of wands, with, sorry the two of pentacles with the infinity symbol which shows the long term we've got the fool which shows excitement adventure fun spontaneous energy which i also see following through with this connection we've got the emperor which shows action being taken we show we we are shown the ace of wands which shows more communication coming your way especially with the page of wands so they're going to communicate this to you the queen of swords shows you know be yourself and also this shows a lot of clarity coming your way. We have the Wheel of Fortune with the Jupiter Abundant Energy, which I also see flowing your way. And we've also got those other four cards, which I've talked about, and a foundation really being built and love being present. The two of you are meant to be together. You've got here a physical connection coming through, right? Physical attraction coming through with the Emperor, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and uh, also the page of wands and then you've got the communication element coming through as well right we've also got here that mental connection as well and that aspect of love and the divine and the spiritual connection right there as well so you've got so many layers to this connection and that's what i'm seeing things are meant to be together you know the two of you are meant to be together and that's what i'm seeing so Group number three, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. 
don't forget to, or if you have any comments, you know, let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelet switcher on Etsy, Patreon, all that good stuff if you are interested. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this. Um, if you do subscribe to my channel, make sure you click on the bell notification and you'll be notified every time I post um, you know, a new video will go into your subscription box and sometimes, you know, even if you are subscribed to my channel, the uh, videos might not go into your subscription box. So that's why, you know, ring that little bell notification and yeah, I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are. De definitely do take care of yourself. I hope you are doing well and um, I hope to see you for another video whenever you click on another one of my videos or I hope to see you soon in general and uh, yeah. That is pretty much that, and do definitely uh, take care. Bye, everyone. <laughs>